Southeast Orange Beach is also feeling the effects of Michael. News 5's Chad Petrie is at Romar Beach Baptist Church, which uh, took a little bit of damage during the last tropical event. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, Bill. Good morning. And you know, you're right. They still have that steeple that was knocked over by Tropical Storm Gordon just a few weeks ago uh, laying on their property. So it is a reminder that these storms can be dangerous. And again, I'll step aside here, show you that there are people that are having a look at the storm, having a look at the surge that we're seeing along the shoreline here. If we can look at the Gulf right now, you can also see that the waves are really churning up right now. This is not water you want to go swim in. This is not something you want to uh, go for a dip because it is strong, it is dangerous, it can pull you out there, and it is not a safe place to be. Now, we're one of the few places where I almost feel like the conditions have sort of let up in a way. The rain is not as intense as it has been throughout much of the morning. It's sort of let up for a little bit. The surf certainly, though, has not changed uh, really at all as we've gone on. It's still continued to intensify. But again, this area is one of those places that may be expecting some fringe effects from the storm, but it'll definitely have an impact in Baldwin County, and we're going to go check out other parts of Baldwin County a little bit later on in the newscast, a little bit later on just to check out some flooding that we've heard about in Fort Morgan. Reporting live in Orange Beach, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5. Thank you, Chad.